All right. Hey guys, welcome to another video. A couple of months ago, I put out one of my most popular videos, which was waxing bike chain. And it got over a hundred comments, I think. In the comment section there, a lot of you guys wanted to know my thoughts after using wax chain for a couple of months. And I thought, why not go for a ride, bring you guys along with me, read some of my favorite comments and advice from the comment section, and also give my thoughts on the pros and the cons of cycling with a wax chain. So I've screenshot some of my favorite comments and I've got them in my pocket and see how I go riding with no hands and, and reading them out. All right, so I was gonna, I screenshot some of my favorite comments and I was gonna read them out while riding, but then I realized that would incorporate me riding with one hand out holding the GoPro and the other holding my phone and reading off it. And that probably wouldn't be safe. So I'm just going to go off my memory and I'm going to put some of the screenshots up on the, up on the screen while I talk about them. So here's some of the pretty good ones, the tips people gave me. One was that in lieu of using a crock pot, you can uh, just have a stainless steel bowl and put that on your cooktop. I reckon that's a pretty good idea if you're trying to get some space savings. The only thing I would say is my missus wouldn't be happy with me cooking up a pot of wax. All right, the next one was um, getting a Connects link, which can be reusable instead of using the Shimano Quick Link. That's a great idea because I've heard the Connects ones are made out of stainless steel or another material, which means they can be reused over and over again. So I can already tell after about four or five times my Shimano ones are getting a bit loose. So I think that's a good idea and I will buy one when the time is right. So another tip was getting a rough brush and every now and then, brushing your cassette and your chain rings and, and whatnot, just to get the excess wax that builds up on there off. I think that's a pretty good idea because, like I said before, uh, I can already see there's a bit of dulling on the metal just because of that wax building up. So I think that'd be good just as like a, every now and then little maintenance thing to do. So that's something I definitely consider. All right, this one's been said a couple of times but when you turn the crock pot off, you can wait a little bit of time for the wax to get harder before you pull out the chain so it doesn't drip all over the place. So I think that's a good idea. Or another one is when you pull it out and you hang it up, you can put the wax, the crock pot underneath and it can catch the wax that way. Right now, I've just been putting like a, some tissue paper underneath and just throwing that out, but that's a good idea. In winter, that'll be even easier. By far and away, the most popular piece of advice that people have been saying is to buy a wax-based lube and then whenever you can't be bothered to wax your chain, you just use that instead. Uh, I think that's a pretty good idea. Uh, people saying, you know, you, you, uh, you can even just dip that, oh, people even saying you can just dip that straight back into the crock pot afterwards and there's no issues. But um, I don't know, I got a couple of issues with that. The first one is I've used it once and I wrote it on the bottle, it's only effective if you leave it overnight or for like a long period of time. So I think if you're in a rush and you need to lube your chain in the morning, okay, it's like a bit of a band-aid solution, but it's never going to work as well as it's designed or intended to. So, I haven't tried that personally. I know Jesse Coyle and a few other people do it. I think it probably works fine. So I had another comment in there saying, if you want to save a bit of money, you can just use normal paraffin wax. Uh, I know for a fact a couple of friends of my mates do this, and their chains run fine, so I'm sure this works well. Here is a really good one that someone left. Make sure that your, your chain has been submerged in the wax for a while because as you know, metal expands with heat and that expansion will allow more wax to get into between the, the links. So don't just dip it in and take it out after a few seconds. You gotta dip it in, leave it there, let the chain get to the heat of the wax, let it fully submerge give it a good stir, that's the best practice. By far and away, the weirdest comment I got was someone saying to let the chain stay in the wax till the whole thing goes hard and then you take it out of there and you break it all up. I thought that was a bit extreme, but the person was adamant. So why don't you let me know in the comment section below 
if this is something that you do, if you let all the wax go hard and then you break it all up. So I think the rain reasoning they said was that there's wax between every single link and it stays there. That wouldn't it just all fly off as soon as you start riding? Anyway, I thought that one's interesting. Let's go through some of the pros and cons. And today I'm also testing out my new microphone setup. So I've got a Rode mic here under my jersey and I'm hoping that that improves the sound quality a lot. So pros and cons. I've been using the wax chain now for about a couple of months, but I haven't been doing a lot of riding, to be honest. I think I've only done maybe 1500 Ks, uh, but I've done quite a lot of variety of riding. And so here's my, my pros. The clean drivetrain is a game changer. I've had to wash my bike a couple of times and not having to fiddle around with degreaser, the chain cleaning tool, getting all that degreaser off the chain, wiping it down afterwards, getting all that stuff all over the place. Absolute game changer. When I need to clean the chain now, just pop it in the wax, done and dusted. Another pro is it's actually a bit of a time saver because if you're a bit more disciplined, and you always have a new chain ready to go. Changing out a chain only takes two, three minutes. So you can have a brand new uh, chain that's all lubed up and ready to go in a couple of minutes. Granted, you could use drip lube and it'd be about 30 seconds, but this one is like, is just fantastic. I think in the long run, when you consider cleaning the train with degreaser, I think it's a bit of a time saver. So I haven't used it enough to confirm if there's money savings in the components but I have to say everything looks schmick still everything looks really good apart from being a little bit dulled by the wax and I'll get into that later there's some things you can do to work around that but uh everything looks fantastic I can't believe it but I've forgotten to talk about my favorite pro of wax in the chain and that's that the first 200k or so just feels chef's kiss it is immaculate riding I, just put, I put this chain on about 100k ago and it's like riding on butter it's just so nice the ride quality is incredible it's hard to describe it's just like velvety almost so really really good i cannot recommend it high enough all right to show you i'm not completely biased here's three quick cons of waxing a chain one if you're not super disciplined or you know you're a bit you're a bit time poor having an extra train ready might be too much added to your to your, to your life schedule so that can be a bit of a pain the second one is that the quick link that you get with the chain unless you buy a specific one from like kmc you can't use that one forever and eventually it might break so you need to look into getting a reusable quick link, which I went online, not super cheap, maybe about 20, 30 bucks on Amazon. Uh, and then the last one is wax can make a mess. So on the first time I waxed my chain, as I was putting away the crock pot, I knocked it a bit and I got some wax all over the ground and that was a bit of a pain to clean up. So it can be messy, but then again, cleaning up wax is a lot easier than cleaning up spilt degreaser and all that crap, so it's not too bad. All right, I'm gonna leave the video there, but thanks guys for watching. I really enjoyed making that wax video and I love all the comments. So that's just a quick summary of what my experience has been using wax after a couple of months and some of my initial thoughts. And thank you so much for those tips and tricks and pieces of advice in the comments in the previous video. Uh, I hope for some of you guys watching this one, you'll be able to apply it to your, your waxing method and make your life a bit better. Anyway, if you've got anything that I didn't mention or you hadn't commented in the previous video, why don't you put it in the comments down below and uh, we can just keep sharing everything. Thank you so much guys and I'll see you in the next one.